tonight. We are beginning our Italian Heritage Series. And for the first installment, we're showing you something that locals may have gotten used to seeing by now, fried fritties. Heather Hale has more. It's the third Sunday of the month, so that means in Clarksburg on West Main Street, cars are lined on the side of the street waiting for fresh fried frittis. The consistent sale of the fritti at the Italian Heritage Festival office keeps admission and entertainment free at the festival on Labor Day weekend. The purpose of selling the fritti here in front of the festival office is to keep the Italian heritage alive here in Clarksburg and to celebrate the recipes and the traditions of our ancestors, which is really the mission behind the West Virginia Italian Heritage Festival. Weej Vargo, who has been involved with the festival for 43 years, says that one of the things Italian descendants remember most about their parents and grandparents is that they made a lot of bread. My grandmother made it with traditional white dough and did not put them in sugar. And the, we then would dip them in sugar in a cup if we wanted sugar on them. So different people make them different. And I think it's just a preference as to whether you like a little more sweet or you like the more traditional bread dough. While the free tea from the festival office every third Sunday of each month is a sweet free tea, even without the sugar, Vargo says one of the popular ways back in the day, and some traditional first and second generation Italians still do this, who want anchovies in their free tea. I can tell you that many people pull up in front of the office to purchase their Vritti and they say, oh, I love this smell. It reminds me of Nani's basement or it reminds me of Sundays at my aunt's home when we all gathered around for our pasta and then there always was the Vritti. Vargo says many Italians made bread because it was cost effective. And so to avoid any waste, they would use up every bit of the dough and with the scraps, they would make the Vritti. I think it's just the smell and the feel, and there's nothing like the taste of a fresh, hot vritti. So I'm going to see what all the cars line up on West Main Street for here in Clarksburg. I've got my first ever fresh fried free tea. Reporting on the history of the free tea, I'm Heather Hale for 12 News.